What's up guys, Will H back with another video. So today we're taking a look at my little Dex, Samsung Dex setup here with my Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Now this is the titanium green. I do have a case on it right here, but this is the titanium green. So Samsung Dex is a desktop environment that you can use with your Samsung devices with an external monitor. Now if you have the tablets, Dex, you can use them on the tablet itself, but uh, with your phones, you can wirelessly open up DEX if you have a, like my TV over there. I'll demonstrate that in another video. You can use an external monitor like this, a little portable monitor. Or you can use something like my Windows computer that I have sitting over here to the right. And I'll demonstrate that later on as well. Uh, but for this purpose, I'm using a 15.6 inch 1080p display, non-touch non stream. It doesn't have its own speakers or anything like that. It's by this company, GKDY. I did make a video about this a while back. I'll leave a purchase link down below. I have a portable Bluetooth keyboard here that I've had for a while. It comes with its own case right here. This also comes with its own case as well. So you can wrap all this up and keep it pretty, uh, pretty secure. I do have a little cheap mouse, mouse here. It's gonna cost you about $10 for Bluetooth mouse. This is Bluetooth. Uh, this is going to cost you about $20. The monitor is going to cost you about $120. I got a little stand here for my phone. Being that this is not Bluetooth or Wi-Fi capable, I have to use a cable Type-C to Type-C. And since my phone will not power up my monitor, I'm using a power cable to Type-C power cable to power up the monitor. So here it is. So this is Samsung Dex mode right here. But you don't you can still hook this up without being in DEX mode. I'm going to turn off DEX mode. And what it does then is just mirror your display. As you guys see right here, you can still go in and watch YouTube or something like that, movies or whatever you want to go do. I'm going to bring up my video right here. Uh, we're going to skip this. Now, this doesn't have speakers either, but you can always hook up a Bluetooth speaker like the little JBL speaker here. I keep it in my bag when I want. And I want better sound, but for this demonstration, the sound is just coming through my phone. So here it is. So if I full stream this, then this is what you're going to get. Display looks good on his 1080p. Uh, so, you know, it's going to look good. All right, we're going to close that out. Uh, we're going to stop this video first, and then I'm going to go back into the DEX mode. There's DEX. Just press it, and a few seconds, you're back in the DEX mode. Uh, DEX mode. That's type, type environment, uh, kind of looks like your PC. So if you right click, you can do things like clean up the page, stream, zoom, wallpaper and stuff like that. You can change the wallpaper. Starting over here on the right hand side, got a calendar if I wanted to jump in, interact to see what uh, I have coming up as far as appointments and stuff like that. Or add stuff, I could do that. Next over, you're going to have your quick toggles for stuff like your Wi-Fi, sound, Bluetooth, mobile data, dark mode, things like that. Next over, you're going to have your notifications. You guys see I had a missed phone call. I, I got uh, YouTube notifications there that I can jump right in and interact with. Next, we're going to have a volume slider right here. And then next, this is to take a screenshot. And then the next one. I can bring up a virtual keyboard. If I didn't have this little keyboard here, I could still type whatever I wanted using keyboard on the phone. Now I can still text messages and stuff from here if I needed to text someone, call somebody or whatever. I can do it for either from either one because they're linked together. It's one device just using a external string here. So uh, you got a back button over here. My mouse is black. That's it right there, guys, and I don't know how to change the color of it. Someone can tell me how to change the color. I would definitely be it, wish it was a different color. Uh, if I had a lighter background or wallpaper, then I'd be able to see it better. But anyway, the mouse is there. Uh, you got a home button, which is that one. Got all apps open right there. I can go in and close them all, jump back in or whatever. We're going to leave them open. And then you got a search button. I can go in and search for something here. So let's go ahead and search. I'm going to search for Tubi again. There it is. I can open it up and jump right in like that. 
Yeah, I see the little keyboard works great. This is the app drawer with all your apps that are on your phone. You can have right here, if I wanted to put something on the display there, so if I wanted the Play Store up there, I just hold on to it, drop it here. It's already there already, but you can have more than one there if you want to. Like I said, you can move these wherever you want, right here. Also on this menu over here, this last one, you got contact us, lock decks, and exit decks. So that's how you would get out of decks right there. So let's go ahead and demonstrate something. Let's go ahead and open up ESPN so I can resize this. I can full strain it like this. And as you guys see, some of these apps are not going to be, they're not going to be, you know, like filling up the whole page. So, but they will do this. Now I'm going to, let's go ahead and open that back up. Didn't mean to close it. So I'm going to uh, minimalize it here. Now I'm going to snap it. You can snap certain apps here, snap to that side. Now this is where it looks the best right here. If you want to view something here. And like I said, my little stroll wheel is going out of here. So trying to stroll just by grabbing it and strolling and not able to do it on that screen. Let's go ahead and go to watch. Maybe I'll be able to stroll here. Yeah, there it is. My little stroll wheel's going out, but it's no big deal. I'll order another one, 10 bucks. So you can snap different apps. I can go over here and open up Weather Channel. Let's see, let's open this one up. And I can full stream this as well. Let's go to hourly. I can stroll. I can go look at the radar. It's supposed to rain today, so I can see where the rain is. I can minimalize that. And this is one that I can snap as well. So I'm going to snap it this side. So now I got two that are snapped in place there. And I can interact back and forth with these. So very good right there. Let's take a look at something like YouTube. So open up YouTube and this, like I said, this is my video here. And I can increase the sound. And the speaker sounds pretty good coming from the, the phone right there. So it does put your phone to sleep. Doesn't matter because it's keeping the charge. It's like a pass through on there. So uh, no problems right there. Let's go ahead and stop this. So that is that. I can uh, change the resolution on here. So that was at 720. I can go up to whatever the highest resolution is on this display here. And let's go ahead and close it out. So I'm going to go to the home page here and scroll up and down. So this is what it looks like. Uh, I'm not sure if this will play 4K. It should, even though it's not a 4K monitor. Let's look for 4K video. Uh, 4K 60 right here. So let's see if it'll play this in 4K. I'm gonna turn the volume down. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you can play it in 4K even though this is not a you know, 4K monitor, you're still able to bring up those settings. And as you guys see, that looks good. Dex works great, man. If you need this for doing some more serious work, you know, like uh, typing out documents and stuff like that, you can do that. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, close this out. I think I, yeah, there it is. So if I wanted to go into my files, Files app here, look at things like my videos in here. This is the same video that I was playing on YouTube right here. You can move files back and forth. You know, if you, you had your notes open and stuff like that, you're gonna be able to have a bunch of apps open at the same time. So let's go ahead, open up that. Let's open up this. Let's get that in a little pop-up window there. Let's go ahead and open up the Weather Channel. Skip that over here. Let's go ahead and open up. Uh, let's see what else. TV Guide. 
So you guys see, you can open, you can have all of these open, jump right back into them uh, with ease. Uh, you're not going to have any issues getting having a bunch of them on there. So that's Samsung Dex, man, uh, on here. It works very well, fluidly, and uh, works great. So if you need something like this, you got your keyboard, your mouse, uh, your, your portable display here, and you can get a lot of work done on the go. And uh, you got your, you know, internet right there as well. Uh, you're going to be able to take phone calls, send text messages, things like that, emails and all of that. So I'll demonstrate it on my Windows PC coming up next. And then I'll do it with my TV over here wirelessly in a future video as well. Samsung Dex on the go. Will H, I'm out.